All right. Well. <laughs> Yeah, it really is. I'm pretty elated over this. At my age getting one, I'm especially. <laughs> Explain your hat. Well, it's uh, an outfit in Osno, New Mexico. I bought a tractor for him. If I wear this two more weeks, they'll let me keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got a tuxedo. The one I wore at the Golden Globes, I guess Melissa Davis thought it was pretty old. She said something about it, and I, it's 20 some years old. <laughs> and uh, so somebody suggested I get one, a new one made for this, and they're, they're fitting me now for it. When you well, heard it was 20 you were something nominated. years ago when you were nominated before. 19, 1981. Well, it hasn't really changed much for me. I've, I really don't work much. I'm on the ranch here in New Mexico, and as far as I've been to about eight Academy Awards, just because I'm a member, just to, to watch it. But uh, it, nothing's really changed for me. I uh, done a few films, and never thought I'd be nominated for this. Frankly, but we knew we had something quite different you know, when we were shooting it, so I uh, got high hopes. When they called you, when you heard you were nominated, what was your reaction? Well, I let out a big war hoop. I was feeding some cattle on the ranch, and <laughs> Jewel, my fiance, said it's uh, 5.30 in L.A., it's 6.30 here in Lincoln, and uh, they're about to announce. I came running in, and boy, that, that was it, yeah. It'll be in the future. I didn't quite understand all of this. How did the people's acceptance speeches, last year there were some very long speeches, yeah. people crying, mm -hmm. how do you feel about all that? I have a very, very short one, if I get in. And, uh, It'll, it'll fit. <laughs> Sir, what does the nomination mean to you? Uh, you're the age when most people are retiring, uh, and frankly, uh, the, the, some people feel that people of, of upper years are not as protected in our politics. Well, it means a lot to me uh, for more than one reason. Uh, I think it might give a chance to some of the older actors that are darn good to never get a chance to do anything. And, I'm, I'll be 80 pretty quick, and I think that's pretty unusual. And uh, it's uh, that, that's how I feel about it. I think that, that this might set a trend for using older people, and I hope it does. Well, it, doesn't, it doesn't sound like you've gotten caught up in all of this. How does an actor not get caught up in all of this? <sighs> Well, I've been driving a tractor for four or five years on the ranch. That part of it wasn't. If I hadn't been, uh, I have to get a hip replacement. If I hadn't been kind of hurting, uh, there wouldn't have been any problem. Of course, uh, about three hours a day on that little moor got a little bit tedious. But uh, we knew we were getting something pretty good, and my gosh, it worked out. How big is the tractor that you just bought? Oh, it's... Uh, Universal Case Diesel, it's got wheels about that high. I mow and uh, do different things with it on the ranch. Did you know David Lynch's work when you heard from him? No, I really didn't. My agent called me and said that uh, David Lynch had a property he wanted to talk to me about, and I said, who's David Lynch? <laughs> and she said, well, uh, did you see The Elephant Man? And I said, I did, and I really liked it. And she said, that's the director. And it wasn't until we'd been on the film two or three weeks till I found out our film was quite a bit different than what he'd been shooting in the <laughs> previously. <laughs> but uh, I think it's strictly a family-oriented film. You know, it's, it gives you a lift, I'll tell you. Have you People, seen those other films since? Pardon? That's our last question. Have you seen those other films since? 
No, sir, and I don't intend to. <laughs> Thank you very much. Valley, welcome. Our next nominee is Haley Joel 